Man, Rev Mio TV, Rev Mio TV, man. Good people of the world. What's going on, man? What's going on? Hey, listen, man. I'm going to give y'all this one today, right? I'm going to give y'all this one today, man. I got to tell y'all. I, 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 I done told y'all about um, don't sit on people's bed in prison, man. I done told you. Now, do not sit on people's bed in prison, man. You know what I'm saying? All right? Young people, young people. If you ever been to jail, if you ever been to prison, man, please don't go back, man. If you never been, please don't go, okay? For those of you who don't know, man, I did serve 16 years of my life incarcerated, man. I've been to the state system. Um, I, I've been in the federal system, man, all right? Hey, listen, man, Um, let's get right into this one right here, man. Let's get right into this one right here, man. Listen, okay, back in the 90s, right? Back in the 90s, man. Now, understand something. Nowadays, when you go to prison, a lot of prisons got cameras. They got cameras in a lot of places. They got cameras up and down hallways and around certain corners. They got cameras watching certain offices and stuff like that. They got cameras around the yard, around the compound. They got cameras. They can see stuff, right? But when I was in the system in the 90s, man, it wasn't no cameras. It wasn't no cameras catching nothing. They didn't have cameras. From what I remember, they didn't have no cameras in the dorms back then. You understand? And even if they did, it may it might have possibly been one here and there or something like that. You feel me here and there? But for the most part, it wasn't no cameras and stuff around, man. So you just get the rumbling, man. You get the bumping and banging. You get the fighting, man. And the police don't see it. They don't know. They don't have no camera to go back to. Nowadays, you get into an altercation. The police got the camera footage. They're going to run that camera footage back. They're going to see who was involved, what happened, who attacked who, and they're going to proceed based on what they see from the camera footage, right? But back in the day, you didn't have that, man. You didn't have no camera footage. You know what I'm saying? So this story right here, man, is from the 90s, man. I'm in the state joint, right? I'm down in South Georgia, man. And doggone, uh, I got to tell y'all about Bobby Brown, man. Bobby Brown, right? I don't know what his last name for real, for real. I don't know what his last name was for real, right? But his first name was Bobby. And they used to call him Bobby Brown because he used to be walking around singing and stuff. Well, Bobby Brown was shot out. Bobby Brown, man, had um, he had he had a split personality for real, for real. The man would be super cool one minute. He'll be singing and stuff. People be having him singing songs and stuff like that. He'll be singing songs and stuff, man, one minute. Man, five minutes later, man, the man would be snapping and going off about something. He was institutionalized, you know what I'm saying? Bobby Brown was like in his late 40s probably. You know what I mean? Had them been locked up about 20 years. And um, he was institutionalized. He was shot out, burnt out, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to call it. The man was probably, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, clinically, he probably would be diagnosed as like schizophrenic or something, right? So, man, Bobby Brown used to be singing, right? And I'm going to tell you what he used to do. And you found a lot of people like this in prison. Bobby Brown... We was in an open dormitory, right? Open dorm, you know what I'm saying? You got a row of beds down one side, and you got a row of beds down the other side, and you got a long hallway up going in between them two rows or whatever, right? So you got a bunk mate, you know what I'm saying? You got bunk beds going all the way down on one side, bunk beds going all the way down on the other side, right? Bobby Brown slept on the same on the same side as me but probably about maybe three beds down from me right and um bobby brown slept on the bottom bunk the man would make his bed so i'm talking about with such precision the man would make his bed so perfectly he'll be taking his time right every day he, when he get up and start making his bed, his cellmate just got to get out the way. 
Because the man finna spend about 15 minutes making his bed. He gonna put his fold on his bed just right, perfectly on one side, the corner down on the other side. When you fold, you where you fold the white sheet over the blanket, you know what I'm saying? And it, um, man, I I should have took a picture of right. The man bed would be perfect, like military perfect, right? It ain't gonna be a wrinkle nowhere on the bed, uh, in the sheets, the the on uh, the blanket. The pillow, he'll take that pillow, he'll fluff it just the way he want. He'll, you know what I'm saying? Even the part where you put the pillow into, or, or the pillowcase, oh, no, nah, that's going to be folded under perfectly. And he's going to smooth that joker out. He ain't even going to have a wrinkle in the pillow on the pillowcase. You know what I'm saying? So dude will literally spend about 15 minutes doing this every day to his bed is perfect, right? His shoes. He'll take his shoes and he'll line them up perfectly, perfectly right there up under his bed, right there. His shoes will be lined up perfectly, right? And he'll stand back and he'll look at his bed, right? Walk to the other side of the bed and he'll look at his bed. And if he sees something wrong, he'll go over there and he'll tuck it a little more and he'll smooth it out a little more. Or if his shoe a little crooked, he'll straighten that bad boy out. Oh, the man was um, what you call um, what they call it, ACDC, OCDC, whatever it is. Oh, he was that to the hundredth power. You know what I'm saying? So, so his bunk mate had learned to just man, just just go and give him all that time in the morning. Go and get out the way, cause Bobby Brown finna be making his bed up, man, for the next fifteen minutes. You know what I'm saying? The average person, you gonna make your bed up throw it together it's gonna look good it's gonna look all right or whatever but it ain't gonna take you nothing it's gonna take you less than five minutes you know what i'm saying so now because that's another thing in prison for those of you who have never been to prison you got to make your bed and stuff up every day you know what i'm saying you got to make your bed up your stuff got to be presentable every day you can't just get up leave your stuff you don't um fold your uh you know your covers back right and stuff like that and just get up and go no you don't you don't do that in prison that's a write-up right that, that's a write-up that's a write-up so you're gonna get up you're gonna make your bed up you know what i mean and then and then too if you don't make your bed and stuff up now the police they might come and not just write you up but now they want to come and search your property they want to come and search your bed Go all in your mattress, up under your pillow, up under your mattress, in your shoes, in your little um, in your little box. You know what I'm saying? Where you keep your commissary and this, that, and the other. They might not just mess with your stuff. Now they want to mess with your cellmate stuff or your bunkmate stuff too, right? So now your bunkmate, if you ain't making your bed up because it can bring heat to your bunkmate too, your bunkmate going to tell you, hey, man, we ain't trying to draw no heat over here, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, go on straighten your bed up, partner. You know, I ain't trying to police you, doc. But, you know what I'm saying? Um, prison unwritten rules don't bring no heat on me for your for your um lack of understanding or whatever you want to call it, right? Go on make your bed up. If you can't make your bed up, you know what I'm saying? Find you somewhere else to sleep. You feel me? Because this ain't going to work out. Because I don't want the police coming... Uh, uh, the CO's coming and want to search my stuff because you ain't made your bed up, me and you bunk mates. You feel me? So I ain't trying to police you, but hey, man. So these are certain unwritten rules that you deal with in prison. So anyway, Bobby Brown, right? Man, Bobby Brown will come in there and some days, you know, he'll be... Bobby Brown, I'm, man, let me tell you. The man was so OCDC about his bed I don't even know if I'm if it's the right word, OCDC. You know what I'm saying? He extra, you know what I'm saying, about this bed and stuff, right? I'm going to tell this man to do. The man would come in and sit on the floor sometimes. He ain't always do that. But sometimes he'll come in and sit on the floor because he didn't want to mess up his bed. So you'll see him sitting over there on the floor with his back up against the wall. It's a wall right there, right? So he have his back up against the wall. You know what I'm saying? And he might be sitting on the floor. You know what I mean? And uh, every now and then somebody mess with him and say something. Hey, uh, Bobby Brown, man. Man, what are you doing sitting on that floor, man? Bobby Brown, get off that floor, man. He, he'll just tell you, mind your business. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, man, old Bobby Brown was shot out.
but he could sing a little bit. He'd be singing them old school Commodore songs and all that stuff. Uh, be thinking he lying or rich and you know all this stuff, right? And so you know, sometimes you know that'll kind of pass the time. You know, he might bust out and sing a few tunes, man, something like that. And we just be riding, you know, we just be riding, man. Well, on the flip side, I told you too is that Bobby Brown was shot out. The man had split personality, you know what I'm saying, for real, for real, right? So you might come over there and kick it with him, and then he might tell you, you know what I'm saying? Because if he sit up on his bed, he might sit up on his bed. Sometimes he'd be on his bed. Sometimes he wouldn't, you know what I'm saying? But even even when he sat on his bed, he would take, because you're going to get two blankets in prison. You're going to get two blankets now. One blanket you use to put lay it on the bed. The other blanket you're gonna fold it across the bottom of the bed. You know, by by the foot of the bed, right? He would take that blanket, spread it out before you sit on his bed. You know what I'm saying? He'll spread that blanket out so you can sit on that. You know what I'm saying? So a couple times, right? Dudes go over there and uh. I knew better because I because I had not seen him, you know what I'm saying, you know, flip out on folks before. So dudes might go over there, man, and be kicking it with him or something like that. He'd be singing a song or something like that. And he might even tell you, man, sit down at the sit down at the foot, man. Come on, man, man. You can sit down at the foot of the bed, man. So you might sit down, right? So dude go over there and sit down, man. And Bobby Brown over there, you know, he's singing them old songs and stuff. You know what I mean? Like I said, he could sing a little bit. So, you know, he kind of get the little crowd going and stuff like that. And um, after he done sung about three or four songs, now he threw. You know what I'm saying? So Bobby Brown, once he get quiet, then he going to tell you. He tell dude, he say, all right, man, that's enough, man. You got to get off my bed. You know what I mean? Now, dude, I've been sitting on the bed, you know, probably 10 minutes or something. All right, man, you got to get off my bed. That joker going to grab that, grab that blanket. He gonna grab the blanket, fold that blanket back, fold it back neat, and smooth that mug out. He gonna smooth that blanket all the way out. You know what I'm saying? And we be over there looking like, man, but it institutionalized like a mug, right? So y'all know I don't cuss, man. Y'all know I am a real preacher, man. I do not cuss, man. So ride with me. Ride with me. Ride with me. All right? Young people. Hey, Amen. Obey your parents. Stay in school. Take school serious, man. Okay? Go get you some degrees, man. You know what I mean? What's wrong with being a doctor? What's wrong with being a lawyer? What's wrong with being an architect or engineer? You know what I'm saying? Go for them kind of fields, man, because you will never hurt for money if you become an engineer or a doctor or even an accountant or a lawyer. You will never hurt for money, man. Okay? Hey, so um, so anyway, man. So one day, dude, go over there, right? Dude, go over there, man. Kilo, he go over there, um, and he messing with Bobby Brown. So Bobby Brown get a dude ain't sitting on his bed yet. He ain't sitting on his bed, right? So Bobby Brown, he walk off, leave the dude Kilo standing right there. You know what I'm saying? He told Kilo wait a minute or whatever, he got to go to the bathroom, he coming back or whatever, you know what I'm saying, so they sitting there talking, and they had been kind of like, kind of kicking it, you know what I'm saying, because Kilo ain't been there probably, I don't know, probably a month, and they had been kind of kicking it, you know what I'm saying, go out there on the yard and stuff, they be talking and stuff like that, man, you know, just kind of kicking it, man, and um, so, dude was down by, by my bed, like I say, I slept about three beds down, from um from uh Bobby Brown. So dude about three beds down. I mean I mean dude down by my uh, bunk right about three beds down. And um so another dude telling him like hey man you know dude got split personality man you know what I'm saying like you know what I'm saying? just just letting you know you know so if he just flip out on you man you know just you know just kind of just putting you up on game you know what I'm saying? He cool, but just letting him let, letting you know, man. He cool, man. But he got a split personality now. You know what I'm saying? So, dude, you know, dude, like, yeah, 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 man, dude. You know, he cool. You know, whatever, whatever. 
So anyway, so Kilo over there standing by Bobby Brown bed, right? Bobby Brown tell him, hold on a minute, man. He going to the bathroom, whatever. So a couple minutes later, he come back. When he come back, Kilo sitting on his bed. Kilo sitting on Bobby Brown bed, right? Bobby Brown ain't told him to sit on his bed, man. Not only is he sitting on Bobby Brown bed, but the blanket that you fold up and keep at the foot of the bed is still sitting at the foot of the bed. And Kilo sitting right there on the blanket, right? So Bobby Brown, he come around now. He said, hey, man, man, get the F off my bed, man. So Kilo looking like, oh, dang, my bad, man, you know, uh, my bad. So Bobby Brown said, man, I ain't gave you permission to sit on my bed. So dude stand up. So then um, Bobby Brown look at his bed, and he like, doing, he doing like, so Kilo like what? So by Brown like you ain't gonna fix it. So dude looking at the bed, and it's some wrinkles in the bed. Obviously he been sitting on the bed, right? So dude Kilo, you know he been down and he start, you know, tucking it in a little more and trying to smooth it out or whatever. So he he he, he ride, you know, he stand back. And so Bobby Brown, he said, man, move out the way, man. So he go over. The, now he's smoothing the bed out. You know what I'm saying? He done took the blanket and turned it over on the other side. I guess because the dude done set his butt on this side. He turned it over on the other side, right? So he's smoothing it out or whatever. So then he looked at Kilo. He said, man, don't sit on my bed without my permission, man. You know what I'm saying? So Kilo messed around and say something like, dang, uh, dang, uh, ninja. You know, y'all know I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't really talk like that, right? So he, dang, ninja. Uh, Man, you institutionalized about these folks stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? Or something, something. And he started walking off. Kilo slept on the other side of the aisle, all the way up the aisle by the door. So when he say that, by Brown say, what you say? Kilo just keep on walking. Bobby Brown immediately charged at him. And when he charged at him, Kilo turned around, like by the time he turned around, Bobby Brown already up on him, and he hit him. Boom. They go to tussling, man. He done knock Kilo down, you know what I'm saying? They on the ground, they get up, boom. They on the ground tussling. It's a good fight, you know what I'm saying? Bobby Brown had him in the beginning because he snuck him for real, for real, right? But it's a good fight. It's a good fight. They got each other, man. They stand up. They boxing each other. So then in order to keep the police out of the stuff, so they wouldn't walk by the window or, 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 or come by or could see what we used to do is now you're going to fight in the back in the bathroom so the bathroom you know what i'm saying was like a it was like a big enough area you know what i'm saying where you could you could get it in so it, it used to be a lot of fights at that spot right there in the bathroom because it was an open space and it was away from the front door and the windows, uh, 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 matter of fact, them were bars right there at that spot. They were bars. It was, I think it was a glass window at the top uh, on the sides. But I think the um, I think the door was um, was bars. You know what I'm saying? If I remember right. So you go to the back, to the bathroom, big open space, right? So after after the first round, you know what I'm saying? After the first round, you know, they don't, you know, they don't squabble pretty good. You probably could say Bobby Brown kind of got him, right? So then they like, man, y'all take it to the back, man. Y'all take it to the back. Take it to the back. Take it to the back. So the dude Kilo, you know what I'm saying? He go back there. So he waiting on Bobby Brown to come on back there. Bobby Brown come back there. And so they, you know what I'm saying, they going, you know what I'm saying, like this here. They pop 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 pop. They boxing. They boxing good, right? So now you got toilets right there. And at this spot, you had toilets that literally sat right beside each other. There was no partition in between the toilets. You could raise your elbow like this and be touching the next person on the next toilet. If they raise their elbow like that and you raise your elbow like that, y'all elbows would be touching, man. That's how 
you know what I'm saying, close it was. So 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 typically if somebody had to, you know what I'm saying, uh take a dump, then out of respect, nobody else was gonna take a dump unless it was an emergency. You know what I'm saying? Cause you man, you stand up even just to pull your pants down. You sitting right there, man, dude. You know what I'm saying? Really sitting right there, your butt right there. You know what I'm saying? You looking dead at another dude. Booty hole, you know what I'm saying? You try to turn away, but just knowing that another dude booty hole right there, you know what I'm saying? And then if he's sitting on the toilet, you don't know if the man looking at your booty hole or not. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, so they back there squabbling, man. So they squabbling good, you know, and they don't you know what I'm saying, went. So now they don't win a couple of rounds, right? Both of them bleeding, both of them busted up. It's a good fight, right? So now Bobby Brown say, Now, nah, I'm finna take this ninja out. I'm finna take this ninja out, right? So he go try to get him a lock in the sock. You know what I'm saying? He go, so then Kilo trying to go and get him some. So everybody like, no, nah, man, y'all don't do that, man. You know what I'm saying, man? Y'all, man, y'all fighting fair and square, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't need that, man. Come on, come on, uh, Bobby Brown. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't do that. So they don't, so they don't stop them. You know what I'm saying? They don't took the lock from Bobby Brown and whatever it was Kilo was trying to get. You know what I'm saying? They, they done stopped him. Like, man, y'all gonna get it in, gonna get it in, man. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all done went two rounds, gonna go another round. So they go back there and they go at it again. Pop, 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 pop. They boxing. Pop, 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 pop. So the dude, Kilo, he done finally got Bobby Brown. Now, when he pick him up and he bring him down, Bobby Brown head hit the toilet. Pow! When his head hit the toilet, like you heard it, like it just said, boom. You know what I'm saying? And Bobby Brown eyes just went like in the back of his head. And he went limp. He went limp down on the ground, right? And dude jumped up on top of him. You know what I'm saying? And he hit him. He probably hit him about two or three times. And then folks realizing, like, no, nah, dude knocked out. So they don't grab Bobby, I mean uh, grab Kilo off of Bobby Brown. You know what I'm saying? They grab him off of him. And Bobby Brown, you know, they trying to, you know what I'm saying? They trying to get him back right or whatever, you know what I'm saying? They smacking him and all this stuff. So he was knocked out for about a good, probably 10 seconds, right? And he messed around and, you know what I'm saying? He's sitting there. They trying to sit him up. They trying to sit him up. They get him, you know what I'm saying? His equilibrium off. So now after about a couple minutes, right, the fight over with, fight over with, fight over with. So after about a couple minutes, now they don't got Bobby Brown. You know what I'm saying? They done got him over there. He got a knot on the side of his head, hitting that toilet. Both of them bleeding, you know what I'm saying? Nose and mouth and all this stuff, bleeding all this stuff, man. So um, fight over with. So now, Kilo, like I said, Kilo slept on the aisle up by the door on the other aisle. So they get Bobby Brown over there to his bed, you know what I mean? They done nurse him or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Can't really say neither one of them just got whooped. Bobby Brown just got knocked out by his head hitting the toilet. You see what I'm saying? So now, Kilo know now, okay, dude is kind of crazy for real, man. So Kilo scared to go to sleep in there. Rightfully so. He's scared to go to sleep in the dorm because he's scared Bobby Brown going to get some get back in the middle of the night or whatever. Right? So, all night long, you know what I'm saying? Neither one of them probably went to sleep, but I know Kilo didn't go to sleep. You know, you roll over a couple of times, you trying to see kind of what's going on too. Um, you look up there, and I see Kilo up there with a nightlight on, like he reading a book. And I remember rolling over probably about four in the morning, and Kilo still up there with like a nightlight, like he reading a book, you know what I'm saying, or something. He's sitting up there, like got a book in his hand. The little nightlight, you could clip it on to the book and turn the little light on, you know what I'm saying? And he's sitting up there, like he reading a book or whatever, like four in the morning, right? So then the next day, the next day, right, uh, I talked to the dude. I said, hey, man, uh, I said, man, uh, I said, what you and Bobby Brown going to do, man? You know, I, I I probably was trying to be a little nose or something. You know what I'm saying? So, dude, like, man, I don't trust dude, man. I ain't hardly slept all night, man, for real. I, I, I said, I know. I, you know what I'm saying? I know. I, I seen, you know what I'm saying, with the book light on uh, all night, right? Man, dude say, man, I think I'm going to move, move out the dorm, right? 
I think I'm gonna move out the dorm. Man, before he could move out the dorm, that next night, you know what I'm saying? I guess he got too tired. He couldn't stay up no more. Couldn't keep his eyes open, whatever. He went to sleep. But Bobby Brown went over there to get him, boy. Bobby Brown go over there to get him. He got that pig poker. Bobby Brown come over there. And he hit him. He hit him with it. Jiggle, jiggle. You know what I'm saying? And when he hit him, you just heard Kilo just scream. Just, ah! And so he jumped out the bed on the other side. Bobby Brown was on one side of him. And he hit him a couple times with that thing. Uka, uka. And old Kilo jumped out the bed on the other side. So when he jumped out the bed on the other side, now he got time enough, you know what I'm saying, to stand up. He got time enough to, you know, kind of get himself together. Now he'd have been hit a couple times though. He don't hit him. He hit him like in the arm shoulder area. So he so one of his arms is like like he holding his arm like this. You know what I'm saying? He realizing he done been hit. You know what I'm saying? But the other arm good. So Bobby Brown come around to the other side now, and he got that pig poker on him, right? And he trying to hit him some more. Kilo done took the bed sheet. He snatched his bed sheet off his bed, and he threw it. He threw it at um at Bobby Brown, and it went over like his face and stuff. So when it when he threw it at him, and it and it temporarily, you know what I'm saying, went over Bobby Brown like his head, his face and stuff. Bobby Brown trying to get off under these covers now, you know what I'm saying, this blanket and stuff, and. Kilo just like football tackled him. You know what I'm saying? He took him down like boom, boom. And he he hitting Bobby Brown. You know what I'm saying? And then Bobby Brown was able to um uh, look like my video going blurry, man. But uh Bobby Brown was able to was able to get up. You know what I'm saying? He was able to get up, man. But uh the police heard all that commotion and stuff, man. Cause like I said, it's in the middle of the night too. It shouldn't be no noise like that, right? So the police done heard all this commotion and stuff, man. And uh they come running in there. And uh but they locked Bobby Brown up, but they locked Bobby Brown up, took Bobby Brown to the street. They gave Bobby Brown another charge. They gave Bobby Brown another charge, right? Um and Kilo, you know what I'm saying? Like like I said, he had done got hit a couple of times, like in his arm, shoulder area, or whatever, you know. And so he ended up you know, having to get that right there taken care of. I don't even remember if he went to an outside doctor. I think he did go to an outside doctor. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't for sure about that part. But Bobby Brown got another charge. You know what I mean? He had already been locked up like 20 years, man. The man get another charge, man. So he probably ended up getting another five years, three years, or whatever it was. You know what I'm saying? But, um... In prison, man, when you get into it with somebody, man, you make sure that that situation is over with, is done with. You can't just go to sleep around that person again, man. Now, what Kilo should have done after the first fight a couple of days before he got stabbed, what Kilo should have did is if he were going to leave, he should have got up out of that end. Or if he didn't want to leave, he should have ran Bobby Brown up out of there. He should have told him, look, man, either it's either me or you. One of us got to go. You know what I'm saying? I done seen it go down like that. One of us got to go. Both of us ain't going to stay here. You know what I mean? But um, that's the story, man. Uh, old Bobby Brown, man. Old Bobby Brown was institutionalized. Bobby Brown, don't sit on his bed. Don't mess up that man's stuff, man. That man was super institutionalized. He had a split personality, man. So that's old Bobby Brown, man. Young people, stay out of these folk jails. Stay out of these prisons. Stay out of these folk way, period, man. Education serious. Build your credit, man. All right? Rev me your TV. Love y'all, man. Y'all be blessed, all right?